Ulan Batangas is one of the most popular beach destinations to go when there is a long weekend or holiday in the country. With its pristine blue waters and accessibility for people living in Manila and its surrounding provinces, it's no wonder why people flock to this area, especially during the summer months. With so many resorts lined up in the beach line of La Ia, from expensive ones to affordable ones, one does have to think the best fit resort for you and your family. Cabayan Beach Resort is the oldest beach resort in La Ia. Opened in 1996, they are the pioneers in beach resort business in La Ia, even before all those five-star beach resorts sprung up in the area. From air-conditioned rooms to a chapel with anticipated mass every Saturdays, pools for children and adults, and many more. The entrance fee per head for day trips is 150 pesos for adults and 75 pesos for children from ages 1 to 11 years old. However, if you're going to rent a cottage or a room in a resort for an overnight trip, your entrance fee is free and you only need to pay for the room. They have different types of rooms available in the resort, from dorm-type rooms and bahay-type rooms. For day trips, they also have different types of huts available outside. These bahay type cottages are single detached houses that are complete with a kitchen, with a stove, a sink, and it's free flowing with water. A refrigerator, free water dispenser including hot and cold water, is also available. They also have pots and pans for cooking and a complete set of plates, glasses, and utensils. It also has a table fit for the whole family and a television with cable service. Our unit is fit for 4 to 6 persons, so we have a one-bedroom unit in our cottage. Inside the room is a two-double bed, and you can also request for an additional mattress that you can put on the floor. The room has an air conditioning unit that you can live on for the whole day. The unit also has a separate private bathroom with a working sink, toilet with bidet, and tissue. The shower inside also has a heater. Take note that there are no available towels in the room, so make sure to bring one before you go here. They also don't have free shampoos, conditioners, and soaps here, so don't forget to bring that too. Other free amenities in the Bahay unit includes a clothesline where you can place your wet swimsuits to dry in the sun, a faucet where you can wash the sand from the beach before entering the house, and a standing grill where you can cook your barbecue for lunch and dinner. You can also park your vehicle beside your unit so no hassle in bringing down your stuff from the parking lot to your housing unit. They also have bigger bahay type units that has 2 to 3 bedrooms that can fit up to 8 to 14 persons inside. So if you have a bigger group, you can reserve those kinds of units. If you prefer to have a cheaper option for your big group, you can stay in the dorm type rooms inside the resort. They have different sizes of rooms that can fit from 8 to 16 persons. However, this unit does not come with a free kitchen. If you are coming to the resort as a day trip, there are several nipa huts at the front of the beach resort for you. First is the small circle type nipa huts that have a capacity of 10 persons for 2,000 pesos per day. And the second one is the larger rectangular shaped nipa hut that can fit up to 25 persons for 3,000 pesos per day. This nipa hut has a sink inside so you can prepare your meals. Take note that you have to pay for the entrance fee of 150 pesos per head for adults and 75 pesos per head for children on top of the nipa huts for day trippers. After you have enjoyed swimming in the beach, take a rinse using the outside showers and then you can take a shower inside the public bathrooms in the resort. When you book for a bahay unit, you get a free pass to the swimming pool inside the resort. However, if you are in the resort for a day trip only, you have to pay an additional 100 pesos per person to get access to the outdoor pool. The pool is open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day, and all the people, from children to adults, are free to enjoy the pool when the heat from the sun in the beach gets too much for you. For the beach, when the beach is calm, you can just soak up and go with the flow with the waves. Outside in the beach area, you can rent different water activities for your friends and family. From banana boats, 
the crazy flying fish ride, jet skis, kayaks, and many more. You can also rent boats that can take you to some island out there and snorkel to see the fishes and corals out in the open seas. They have a restaurant here in Cabayan Resort. The price range of the available food inside ranges from 250 to 700 pesos depending on your orders. One very good thing in Cabayan Resort is that even though there is a restaurant here with different assortment of food varieties inside the resort, there is no core page fee for foods that you can bring inside the resort. You can bring an unlimited number of foods and drinks inside that you can cook. They also have available grills for each bahay units that you can use all day out. You have a refrigerator for each bahay unit, so your food and drinks will be good even if after a few days. You can grill everything from meat, seafoods, and vegetables. You can also bring in fruits for a healthy meal. One tip to get your charcoal grilling in record time. Bring a butane burner and get those meats grilled in no time. For other amenities inside the resort, there is a small chapel inside. During Saturday evenings, there is an anticipated mass in the chapel where everyone is free to attend and join in the mass. A beach volleyball court is also available for rent in the beach area. But you can also play inside if you're not willing to pay for the rent. Ice cream vendors are also outside the beach area and they sell their ice creams for 50 pesos per serving. They also accept Gcash as payments. There is also an inside convenience store inside the resort where you can buy any kinds of stuff from food to sleepers. There is also a 7-Eleven and Alpha Mart just outside the resort so you can buy other food and drinks in case you run out of those. There's a lot of new developments of posh resorts and beachside subdivisions ongoing in La Ia. But spending time in a more rural and old school type of beach resort that offers high quality service is still certainly one to experience nowadays. You can contact Kabayan Beach Resort by messaging them on their Facebook page or use the following contact details shown in the video below. Please help me reach my first 100 subscribers on my channel. Please leave a like on my video and subscribe to my channel. I will bring more of my adventures in the future so stay tuned. Until next time!